What's up Geeksters, it's me Omar from Geekster Labs and today guys I'm really pumped to show you a product that just came in today. I have the Apple Watch 6 in red version. This was actually supposed to come next week but for some reason it got delivered early. So I'm super excited to show it to you so I'm gonna do a quick unboxing of it and give you guys my first impressions and thoughts of the Apple Watch 6. So let's check it out. All right, so here we have the box for the Apple Watch. So let's see what is included in the box. As you guys, if you guys saw the announcement, the uh, controversial part of that was supposedly it's not gonna have the the uh, AC adapter inside here, the wall adapter. So what is this? Make sure I'm doing this correctly. I don't wanna tear something. What is, oh, I see. So that's interesting. Okay, okay. Well, that's different. So this flaps open. Ooh, look at that nice red interior. Oh, there it is. So we got, I'm guessing that's the watch, and we got the strap. So I got like the regular braided strap. I wanted to get the single loop ones, or I can't remember what that loop one is called, but it's like one solid piece, the silicone one or the braided one. Those weren't available for the red. I don't know why. And it didn't let you pick any other colors. You had to pick a red strap. So this was the only one that was available if I wanted to get the uh, Apple Watch now. Otherwise it would have been on back order if I wanted to get one of those other straps to come with it. So I don't know why they would announce it and then not have them ready to go. So let's, Let's check out the strap. I'm pretty sure this is the similar strap that's been available previously, I think. I'm not sure if they've had a red one, actually. I wanted to get the red one for a bit, and uh, when I had with my current watch. Okay, so there we go. So there is the red band. Let's get a close look at this. So there's the red band. I really like these red bands. They're very, very nice. The only thing is when I go jogging with these and I get really sweaty on my arm, um, this doesn't dry off fast. It takes a while for it to dry off. That's why I've been using these types of bands because I can just easily take it off, just wipe it off with the towel or whatever, and it's good to go. But this type of thing, if you get sweaty in this, it soaks it up and then, you know, it's hard to get it to dry off, so. But I like this band, it looks nice. It's like the edges are black and then the center is white, so that looks good. So let's check out the actual Apple Watch itself the watch. Ooh, it comes in like a little leather type of pouch. So we'll get a close-up look at that in just a second, but let's see. So there we go. So we have the little puck charger with no AC adapter. And I know they mentioned in the, the keynote address how the <laughs> the AC adapter wall plug, uh, they took it out of the box because they wanted everything to be like uh, eco-friendly and uh, green and everything like that. And that was the reason why um, I don't know if I buy that. I think it's just cheaper not to include that in there. Um, some people are making a big deal about that and a big stink about it. I don't particularly care. I, I assume it's probably not gonna be with the, the, the next iPhone 12 either. But how many of those blocks do you have in your house? Like, do you really need to have another block? Like, the cable is one thing. I don't wanna have to buy another cable, but you, uh, let's be honest, you guys probably have tons of, tons of charging blocks in your home. So this is like the usual typical one. I believe it's like three feet long or so. So that's pretty nice. So I use a stand, I usually use the, uh, like a Nomad stand, Qi charger little thing for my phone and my Apple Watch. So I'll just be using that. And so here we have the product red uh, materials, information, so all that stuff comes in there. So let's check out the watch itself. All right, so here we have like a little cover. I think this is just paper. It doesn't, it kind of feels like leather, but it, I don't think it's leather. So let's slide this out. And that is red. That is really red and I love it. I am a big fan of red. I will say that um, now that I see it in person, it is a little bit deeper. I was hoping it wasn't gonna be too bright because I mean, can you imagine trying to dress up wearing a suit and having like a bright red watch on your wrist? Um, but if that's the case, I probably wouldn't be wearing this band. I'd probably wear just a black band and I think it might be a little more subtle and blend in a little bit better. But uh, that is definitely red. Red's my favorite color. They never had a red Apple Watch. So when I, they announced that, I was like, I instantly knew that's the one I wanted to have. So that looks pretty dang sharp. I'm liking that. So for those of you who aren't aware, I currently use the first generation Apple Watch. I bought this five, six years ago? Six years ago, yeah. I've been using this for six years. And so I'm, you know, I'm not usually one to like to buy the brand new thing, except for the iPhone. I'll get the iPhone every year, the new iPhone. But when it comes to the Apple Watch, it, you know, it was fine. But now that I'm doing a little bit more working out, more running, 
it's getting into shape and uh, I can't even update this to the latest uh, watch OS anymore it's been a while since I've been able to update that and so there are lots of cool new features and things I want to be able to do um, I'm sure as you guys have probably heard there's rumors that there the next watch for next year will be a different form factor so depending on what that has I may may just do the the upgrade trade and trade this one in for that and uh, maybe get the Apple Watch 7 when that comes out but uh, so I'm gonna be testing this one out and I'm gonna be doing a review of the Apple Watch 6 very soon on my channel so make sure you guys keep it locked here if you guys want to see that review and I might even do a comparison video for those that may be still using the Apple Watch 1 and comparing it with the Apple Watch 6 if you guys would like to see a video on that let me know in the comments if you want to see a comparison between the first generation Apple Watch and the 6 one I'm not sure how many people out there still are rocking the Apple Watch 1 like on a regular basis, but if you guys are interested in seeing the differences between those, let me know in the comments and I'll, uh, I can do a video on that as well. So that's just it guys, right now this looks really good, uh, first impressions are pretty awesome, it looks very sharp, and that is really nice, nice red, I like the color, it looks good. So I'm going to start testing this out, like I said, I'll put a review up very soon of the Apple Watch 6 generation. So those are my first initial thoughts of the Apple Watch 6 and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Keep it tuned here because I will be doing a full review of the Apple Watch 6 very soon after I've had some time to play around with it. But if you guys want to check out some of my other videos, I have a, two of the clips over here you can click on. And if you'd like to subscribe to my YouTube channel, make sure you click on my face and don't forget to ring that bell to be notified of all my new reviews as they drop on my channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video review.